Introduction to SPSS. In this session, I am providing introduction to SPSS. So now I'm using SPSS version 22. This introduction more for people who had little experience for SPSS. And what is SPSS? It is a statistical package of social science. It is a clearly a popular program for statistical analysis. It used most often behavior science such as psychology. It is easy to run analysis, but your data has to be set up in just the right way. And when you do the analysis, you often get a little more you need in the output window. First, we have to start with creating a new file in SPSS. There are two ways to create a new file in SPSS. First, when you start SPSS or when you SP, when SPSS is open. Second, when you start SPSS, you will be presented with the following screen, as you can see here. Then, after, otherwise, if SPSS is already open, then click button cancel, file, new, and then data, as you can see here. Then here we can easily, I mean, in the SPSS, always this is like a separate sheet. There is no data, there is no uh, variable, but what we have to do here. So we start with the basic. There are two view modes to SPSS. Data view, as you can see it here on the bottom, and variable view. First, we have to start with data view, as you can see here in the spreadsheet. Data view, which we are right now, is basically just a spreadsheet. Each row detect to one participant or subject or case. And each column here directed to different variable or type of measurement you taking from each one of the participants. Now the time to enter the data. Entering data, there are three methods to get data. First, enter new data, just type them, or copy the data and paste it into SPSS or import data from Excel. Enter, data, enter new data, just type the data like one, two, two, one, and so on. The second variable, let me say 62 or 64, 68, 70, 74. This is how to type the data, but what you can see here. You can see here the name of the variable is var0010, var0002, and so on. Then we have to change to rename it and we'll go to variable view here and we'll see the name here, which is the nickname. We can put any name, let me say the name of the variable, the y, and this is x. And then we can see, we go back to data view, we can see the variable name in the top. Oh, this is one way. The second way, we can copy and paste a new data. So we'll go to open new variable new data then we can just paste it from excel from the desktop i have already put it in the desktop and here we can put it easily sorry from here we can copy it copy and then we go to spss and then paste it let me delete these and here just paste it but this is here we have to do another work here var is not the name of the variable as we usually use but the name of the variable you can see it here cell price and repair so we can go back to variable view and change it as we put it here cell price and repair this is cells and this is the price and uh, this is the last uh, repair back to that view you, you can see the variable name here in the top and you can delete this one if you want to delete it clear just clear because if you don't uh, clear it you will see the missing value in one of these and all the variable which is there is a dot and now we have these data Available, we copy it from other place. To import data, easy. The last way to enter in data is to import data. Let me just remove this one or start a new one. First, I open the data, which is here already opened. As you can see, this is the data. An Excel file. 
then open SPS program as you can see here we open the SPSS program and we'll go to file then open we'll go to data file of type as you can see it here file of type here we'll go to Excel this is Excel file name you want to import it from the SPSS what file name we we'll put it here what is the file name the file name they call it sales price and repair okay sales from desktop this is the desktop go to file in Excel so uh, this is the file here just click on the file you can see the file name here and then click open and then here sheet a1 c12 and here read the variable name from the first row data yes which is the variable name from then click okay so what we have here we get the data into SPSS which is easy way either way you can use it in this now 